personal and ecclesiastical separation. 2 Corinthians 6.17 says, Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. The Bible says, Come out from among them and be ye separate. Romans 12.2 says, And be not conformed to this world. Say, Pastor Spanis, why don't you bring in the world's music? You know, let's get all the world, the cool music. Let's just, we'll change the words. Make it all about Jesus. But bring in all the world's music. I think people would like that more. More people will come. No, the Bible says, be not conformed to this world. God doesn't run his train on the world's tracks. We don't get our ideas from the world. We're not conformed to this world. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Look, if it's from the world, we don't need it. We don't want it. We believe in personal and ecclesiastical separation. Yeah, that makes us different. We're not to be of the world. The Bible says we're, we're to be in the world, but not of the world. People walk in here and say, you know, you guys are like Little House on the Prairie. I'm thinking to myself, have you ever watched Little House on the Prairie? Because we're not, we're not like Little House on the Prairie. But when people say that to me, I think to myself, great. I'd rather be like Little House on the Prairie than like the church down the street that looks like a nightclub. The church down the street that looks like you walked into a casino. The church down the street that looks like you walked into a rock and roll concert. 